the main reason that we're here is basically um, is that they were going that they announced that Futo Tante, the first episode initially, was going to be premiered at Anime Expo. Um, aside from that, there's also other news. So I guess I actually do. I did take some screenshots of the slides of their presentation that we can kind of review. <laughs> and I was the asshole who took a picture of the no pictures of this panel thing. You I was that asshole. It's funny because they had that up and they were like, yeah, you can take photos, but we'll tell you when you can't take photos. Yeah. yeah. And other than the episode showing everything they said not to take photos of, they either had already showed off. Or they showed off later, anyways. But we'll we'll get to that once. We'll, yeah. we'll go through the panel. In order. My favorite one was when they were thinking like, "Oh, we're not allowed to take pictures of that." And one of them had a big ass QR code to actually scan for. It's like, wait, can they actually scan that? So, oh shit! Yeah. Okay. So pretty much, um, yeah. The first announcement was that, like we said earlier at the booth, there was a uh, Figure Arts Black Sun and the CSM belt. So yes, America is getting that, which is pretty cool considering that uh, usually we don't get all these things made for America because, again, Japan said, or like we've been told that Japan made the CSM belt specifically for this event, which is really cool. Um, so, I mean, we kind of already knew that going in. Mm. Another announcement is that we're getting the SH Figure Arts uh, Shinkocho uh, Seho Kamen Rider Double from Futo PI. It's a recolor. But it looks wonderful. I kind of need to buy it. Oh man, it is like we, we after the panel, uh, everyone was able to like come in and look at it on the table, yeah. and it is since oh gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. Like, and if all the anime figures keep that quality, holy shit, I might actually like consider collecting them. I thought oh, yeah. the uh, like as they had the chibi ones of the anime designs for Shotaro and Philip. And those ones were a little uh, mad, but the actual figure of anime double was gorgeous. That reminds me, maybe they'll actually do a figure out of the uh, of Oh, the like characters. the actual, like an anime version of Shotaro and Philip. I would, I, I would assume so. I'd buy it. I, I would definitely buy that, and I would, I could definitely see them doing that instead of like the realistic, like Don Kuroto or Ang mm. or Izu. To be fair, some of those did look kind of funky. Yeah, like... It, Izu's really did, though. Yeah, like, it depends on which... Like, honestly, for just speaking through, like, the experience of others, it depends on which batch you get. Like, it's yeah. either very hit or miss. Sometimes it looks really good. The Ankh I have is really good. I knew, I know the the Hongo one, the Rider one. I think he looked pretty good, though. Yeah. Hongo, the, Rider one was pretty good. Yeah, that was, like, their first one, and, and that looked spot on. The, yeah. The, I have both of the Dans, and they they look fine, but I think it's because they molded it in Dan's, uh... They, they had molded faces of Dan's usual goofy expressions, so... Because they were a little more animated, they could uh, take some liberties with the uh, the sculpt. Yeah. But I think like he, he's a little more pale than he is at, at the figure. But uh, other than <laughs> that, other than that, it's uh, they're pretty good. But yeah, yeah, I know like a lot of the uh, the realistic ones get into that uncanny valley effect a lot. Yeah, I think I think the reason with the problem with Izu is um, I think it might have just been the sculpt they sculpted her face like too small. Probably. So like she has like a big face, but like her eyes are like just. <laughs> Tiny, minuscule. It's it's just not us also being racist either. It, it is no. actually racist. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, but yeah. uh, well, it's anyways. Not racist if Chad says it. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fair. Go so, for it. Anyways, the next, yeah, like Jay said, there was the um the figure art, or not figure arts, but like um, uh, small chibi chibi sized figures of Shotaro and Philip, um that look nothing like they do in the anime, but it's another line, so it doesn't really matter anyways. So. They're, they're cute if you like chibi stuff. Yeah, they're they're cute if you like having them on display. Mm. They're Similar proportions in sculpt with to like a Nendoroid, but I they're a little I don't know what the right they they try to go for like more of like a realistic kind of uh, approach mm. with like the uh, the paint for the skin and uh, the designs of the faces, so it looks a little weird. It like it's a mix between like um what do they call them like cupid dolls kind of it's, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, that, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. got that kind of face to them, but it's got like the Nendoroid. Uh, Proportions, so it's kind of a uh, weird looking. It's weird, yeah. If it was just like a standard Nendoroid, I think it would probably look better. I don't know what I mean. They did a Nendoroid of Rider once, didn't they? Um, they few. didn't, but it was under a different line. I think it was like um, a form ride or something like that. Or no, something. it was called a. Uh, it was like named. It was a number actually, like nine sixteen something like that. <sighs> I no, that's um, that's a that's a candy toy line. I I know which one you're talking okay, about. Okay, okay, yeah. But I think, I think it was like one. Action 66 or something like that. Ah, yes. Yeah. No, 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 no. There was a there was another one. It was a 
they, they were more, they were still cheap. Okay. Oh, you, chibi arts. Chibi arts. Have you, okay, but they were like more like posable though. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So I those were similar to Nendo's, except for some reason the line died off and I'm kind of sad about that. But anyways. Yeah, some of them were pretty good. Okay, so Yeah, so on. anyways, uh, continue on with the news. Um, outside of figures, um, yeah, they showed off an image of Black Sun. So He's for indeed those, the blackest common writer. Yeah, the common writer. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not going to quote the trailer because <laughs> I, I, I can't. I'm, I'm trying to go off the top of my head with the news. <laughs> but anyways, over. yeah, so they showed off that, yes, we are indeed again getting Black Sun later this year. Um, but then again, we should also already know this already because the Japanese trailer already says global release. Yeah, they, they kind of, uh, they kind of, uh, accident. They, they, they treated like this was like a big, I think, um, halfway through when they were explaining it, they were like, Oh wait, yeah, this is kind of already known now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, that was kind of the problem with two of the uh, the pieces of news where it's like, I mean, it was on the TV screen right there, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like um... which was especially funny because uh, that was one of the ones we weren't allowed to record for some reason. Uh, right? Yeah. So, uh... so there's also aside from Black Sun, there's also Shin Kamen Rider. Woo! So, yeah, it's just the movie poster that was on there, so they didn't really say much about it, but it's like, we're to assume that we're probably gonna get it, I think. Well, they said, didn't they? They, they basically said in, under no uncertain terms we're going to get it. I, I Depends when. I, I think so, I don't remember, but, um... I, to be honest, I couldn't hear when they were talking yeah. about the Shin Rider part, so I don't remember exactly I, I, I think I they lumped them think, I think they said they were probably going to get it yeah I think they said they're gonna work on it but you know yeah yeah I, I, I don't remember like there definitely wasn't a concrete date but it's like no oh, yeah. there was not yeah definitely no concrete date but like definitely if it's on the screen then more than likely we're probably gonna get it I don't really know when I, exactly. I think I might have just heard wrong because I think I did hear them say like oh at, at least like say like we're gonna get both of them it yeah just, at the just very least anything about yeah it, so if anything <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm hoping someone actually recorded the the panel the panel parts because they did say mm. yes you can record it however when there's like either things that we cannot show on or like when we show you images that we cannot show like on Twitter or like on YouTube or whatever stop recording and also when there's like actual video footage yeah. stop recording yeah but it, but it was pretty cool though it was, yeah, cool. it was, it was actually pretty that. cool <laughs> though that goes on to the next announcement which was spoiled on day one <laughs> yeah on day one so ironically um yeah we're gonna get common Rider Kuga on Blu-ray finally a good show and apparently it's gonna come with either a choice for no subs <laughs> Rongi subs or Grungi translated. We're like, no Grungi subs. I mean, I don't know, Chad. I mean, I wouldn't have known that if somebody didn't just yell that obnoxiously over everybody at, yeah, a, at I think, a booth. I, I think we uh, we would have never figured that out if they before the panel. If <laughs> during the meetup, somebody there had pointed it out to us, even though we were at the booth the day before and they were playing the same fucking trailer. Oh, which is, it's funny when, uh, I think it was Dave said, don't stop recording, put your phones away when the Kuga trailer went up. I was like, you guys have been playing this on loop all fucking convention at your booth. Why are we not allowed to record? I guess maybe because it had sound. Well, but, like, I've, I, but the I one think... at the booth had sound, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah like, true. No, definitely. Like, I totally get that. But I think it's probably just like a convention policy thing. For the oh, people. that's true. Because Possibly. just like from what I've heard is just like... For other recordings, like, um, and other movie premieres and whatnot, like, people have said, it's like, oh, yeah, like, literally when, like, when there's, like, heck, even the USB, for example, right? Like, with all, like, the video footage, it's like, yeah, like, we can't, like, even if we've shown it, you can't record literally any of the moving any of the moving images are like you know yeah so which, it's like, which brought us to the fucking qr code at the end yeah <laughs> where they're like or like oh yeah they had the a qr code to link you to the uh pre-order of it and they're like oh is are we even allowed to have this on screen uh is this even a real qr code i'm like again 
It's on the trailer in your booth, guys. We already know it works. <laughs> uh, so what was after Kuga? Um, yes, after Kuga, well, it's another Kuga related announcement. So yeah, again, we're getting the complete, uh, complete style gigantic Titan Sword. I still don't like that name. I still like the name that I put. Complete that I... Selection Armory. Uh, that still sounds cool. Yeah. Yeah, but then again, if we also have CSA, that's um, Complete Selection Animation. That's true. That's well, true. you know they, what, they, Chad? That is already sure. on Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, no. Um, yeah, we're getting the, that really large-ass Titan Sword. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's, it's pretty big. It's pretty big. Yeah, it's, it's pretty yeah. big. It's pretty big. So, and, uh, yeah. And then after that, well, let's see. There's the, the Kuga pre-order. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah, before before we get into, like, the comics news, I'm, I'm going to let Jay cover that. Of course. Uh, basically, yeah, there was a black screen. Like literally, it's just black. But um, <laughs> that was the that was the Comrade Black uh, preview, bro. It was. It was Black Sun. <laughs> oh my god! Dude, so that, cool. That we got to the, see so much. Wouldn't that be the best April Fool's joke? <laughs> oh my god, Comrade Black Sun's coming out. It's just a black screen for I, I can't minutes. believe Minami Kotaro from the original season like made a cameo. They and, did it like, again. They, god, he actually was awesome. in suit and fought with Black Sun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dude, I'd kill it. Black versus Black Sun. That's uh, like that's crack thick tier, but I'd pay to see oh, that. Yeah. that. That'd be pretty cool. But like, um, <laughs> yeah, jokes aside, though, no, it's like, well, it's the most. Also, I think the biggest thing that's actually a really big step forward is um, they did say initially we don't. They're working out the details, but initially, we should probably be getting the next year's Common Rider toys at this around the same time. As Japan, maybe a month or two later, but mm -hmm. I believe they said more or less around the same time as Japan gets it. Yeah, but they were being very hush hush about a lot of that stuff. Yeah, like they were being like, it literally, they said, like, yeah, this literally just got like, we got the email saying, like, we can share this with everyone, like, five minutes before the panel. Because this, they literally said in the panel, like, five minutes before, like, they got the okay from Japan. It was like, yeah, we're apparently probably going to be getting the next Common Riders uh, toys. Like around the same time as Japan. That's pretty so. interesting, though. I mean, I'm, I'm, fuck, I'm for it. Yeah, yeah. yeah so uh, look forward to when the next writer, who everybody <laughs> already knows the name of, but we weren't allowed to say the name at the panel. Um, yeah, so. so yeah, uh, like Chad said, uh, they announced this a while back. I think they announced this a while back, at least. Um, but they showed off with more details that the Kuga manga. The one by uh, our our great personal friend, our Toshiki, Lord and Savior, our great Lord and Savior Toshiki Inoue, uh, is going to be getting officially translated. Uh, volume one is going to come out near the end of this year. It says uh, November there. Um, so that manga has been. I th I'm not sure if it's over now. I it? think it's still kind of ongoing. I don't really know either. But I'm sure in a, with Inoue writing Don Bros, I'm sure it's probably on the back burner right now, but. I couldn't say for sure. So I've read a tiny little bit of the Kuga manga, and it's um, it's kind of nuts. It's kind of completely, totally insane. So I'm looking forward to actually being able to buy that and read that in person. Yeah. But um, the more important news was, and I think they they mentioned this also at a previous uh, meetup, I think. Uh, I don't remember if this was... I think this was... Yeah, I remember reading this long before the panel because yeah. they kind of spoiled it. We're going to talk about it at the panel anyways. Uh, so there's a Zero One comic book, American comic book, original American book coming out, and that's starting in the fall. Hmm. <clears throat> so it's going to be written by a writer named Brandon Easton who... Ha he's done a decent little bit. Nothing like super big he's done a little bit for dc he's done a little bit for marvel he's done um some cartoons and tv shows um he mentioned personally he was part of the writing crew on the thundercats reboot the one from 2011 not the shitty one <laughs> um but uh they specifically listed his credentials as uh he was writer for the agent carter show uh did some of the backstory for overwatch 2 which um uh, Before he fucking on. left that ship, yeah, he was he, just like, he yeah. said himself, "I yeah. fucking ran." Yeah, he he was like, "Thank fucking god, I'm not working." And he did <laughs> not, not an exact quote from Easton, but he's like, "Thank god, I left when I did." <laughs> uh, and he, he, also, he left before they stole the breast milk. He also stealth announced because I hadn't heard about this beforehand uh, a Vampire Hunter D adaptation, oh, a new right. Vampire Hunter D. Um, 
which my my goth ass enjoyed. But he's done um he's done some Transformer stuff. He's done some uh, a couple other licensed stuff. Most of his work isn't super big. Like if you've seen his name, you've probably read some of his stuff. But like nothing like a normie, a non comic nerd would really know. Mm. Thank you. Mm-hmm. So he was talking a bit, um, just just like introducing himself, and he is not. He doesn't seem like he's a particularly big writer fan. It seems like he's like he's been aware of it for a while, but he's never really like been into it. He mentioned that he was a bit more into not not into, but he, uh, like he was recognizable more, with Sentai, right? Yeah, more yeah. Sentai and just like the whole culture of uh, anime bootleg videos. Or yeah, yeah. He's, <laughs> he's a he's, true OG. Yeah, with he's that. an OG. He's, he was a he's a real old school guy because he, he talked about like VHS tape trading. Go to Suncoast like, Video. Yeah, he yeah. specifically said Suncoast, which is funny. My dude. <laughs> My gosh. My gosh. Era. But yeah, so I I I I did check out. Cause um I looked at I looked some of his stuff up. I checked out like one or two things he did. It's it's, it's all right. Yeah, I think that's that's kind of the, the what I had said when they first announced he was writing. He's like, he's prob he's a good pick for this. I don't think he's like I mean not to speak ill of him. He's he's a good writer, but he's not somebody who's gonna make waves just based on name recognition. Like he's mm. not gonna be like a. You know, like Kyle Higgins is of course big now because he was doing the Power Rangers comic, and there's there's Radiant Black and all of that. Uh, oh shit, Chad, you're going to walk up, so no Um, what uh, do you call it? Did uh, I was gonna say, because like you said, he was not gonna make waves and all that stuff. Uh, who who is it's the Stone something comics? It's uh, well, a company it's, called Stonebot Comics. Yeah, Stonebot Stone Titan I've Comics. Never heard of. I was about to say that uh, it must be a startup. But um. I feel pretty confident with what Easton was describing about how he's writing it. Because he mentioned that, like, when he was picked up to do it, he's like, okay, well, let me do... Because he did the one thing, of course, that you should do when you're writing a comic is do your fucking research. <laughs> uh, and so he sat down and watched Zero One. He didn't say how much of the show watched, but he, I... he kind of implied that he's at least finished the show. Okay. I, uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> he, yeah. he really likes the V-Cinemas. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> that. Uh... But yeah, it seems like he, he does genuinely enjoy Zero One and enjoys the cast and the setting and all that, so... He, just, he enjoys I, Arudo? Arudo. Arudo. As, as he kept Arudo. saying... And I, <laughs> I told Jay when he said that for the first time, I was like, Wait, who? Did he just... What did you say? Like, Naruto? I heard, I heard him say that, and like instinctively, I'm like, you what? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I knew for, I knew, like, I like AJ, who was just like, who? I, I took a double take. take. Yeah, I think we all did. We were just like, wait, what? <laughs> yeah. It's like not to not to harp down the guy, but at the same time, just like no, absolutely. Yeah, but, <laughs> but like you said, like I I think um since it's doing it's done by like kind of like a newish comic company or maybe a newish one, mm. I don't think they're gonna hamper him. Like I think they're gonna let him be. Obviously, there's restrictions, but like I freeish. I think if anything, it's going to be Toei. And that's going to be tight on him just mm. because of the license. Of course, sure. But I, I, even then, I think they're going to be like, you do it though. Potentially, it's because, like yeah, we'll, we'll oversee it. We'll make sure it's like it basically fits in. If it doesn't fit in, then you know, like it's, yeah. it's not like Aruto is going to be like, oh yeah, like. He's, know, Aruto's man. not going to suddenly become like a communist or anything. Yeah, or he's not <laughs> going to become like a super. I was about to say Ezra, but that's like, wait a minute, he did for a while. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> he had wait a minute. Well, I was going to say, I guess it depends on, like, the rules we're following with this. Yeah, like, the rules were, they're obviously set rules probably by, like, Toei. Mm. I'm um, going gonna, gonna to say we're, like, depending on, because he said it's set between certain, certain episodes. We, we, he was very vague on that. We, we so, kind of, yeah. So the plot setup is, um, and it's going to be a completely original story. It's going to be kind of like a non-serialized thing, like mm. uh, like the old DBZ movies where they slot in at a specific point, but you don't have to worry about how it all makes sense. So, movie rules. They, basically, they didn't. Yeah. Spe- he didn't specify when it was going to be set. Based on how he, some of the things he described that he's writing, we're kind of guessing that it happens some point before. Thouser took over uh, Heat End Corp. Okay. Just because uh, he mentioned um, he was talking about like Fua and Aruto's relationship, and he kind of he he specifically mentioned a joke that he had put in, and the way Fua reacts is that 
He's still doing the bit where he's trying to pretend like he doesn't think Arto's <laughs> shitty jokes are funny. <laughs> so, which makes me imply that I think that it's before he gets his memories back from okay. uh, Naki. And uh, I want to share the joke because it's so bad. It made me. <laughs> it's so personally fitting that it made me. It, it legitimately made me laugh out loud. I saw AJ covering his face, <laughs> trying not to uh, laugh. Uh, the specific joke was. Aruto goes up to Fu. He's like, "Do you ever hear about that restaurant on the moon? It's got great food, but no atmosphere." <laughs> which, <laughs> which is so, which is so perfectly in character. I Fuck love it. it. I think I feel pretty confident that it's gonna. He's gonna be good. <laughs> that, that was kind of the thing that I was talking about on the on the bus back. It's like, ah, oh, motherfucker. He's, if he's a, he, this is all, since this is all this is all in English, obviously. Yeah. God, yeah. he's got like a mountain of dad jokes he uh, can tell. Yeah. So it's like it's gonna be. Like, for those, obviously, who may or may not notice within Japanese language, obviously, language is very much, like, locked in with language in terms of Japanese puns. Language is locked in with language? Yeah, I mean, like, the thing is, like, <laughs> I don't know, it, it makes a little more sense where it's just, like, if you try and explain a Japanese joke in Japanese, it's obviously going to make more sense, but if you try and translate to English, like, those who do fan subs and just the subs in general, like, you were doing the Lord's work God trying to, you. like, basically make sense of Japanese wordplay and puns and yeah. translating them into English and have them make sense also while having the original meaning there. Yeah. Instead of doing like, oh, according to Keikaku. Oh, that kind of my like, God. Yeah. So like, translator note and then explaining the joke, you know. So, uh, I mean, we can mention it because they fucking really... Yeah, they, <laughs> they, 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 they Like, we were... <laughs> like, we're, we're not going to release it now. So it's... Ten it, minutes later. Yeah. So that was uh, the funny thing is that they go to the next slide and they show off uh, a couple samples of the art. Yeah. The artist is Hendry Preset Presetia, I think that's yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, apparently. Who, much like Easton, is a. If you've seen his work, you're probably familiar with. I think um, he did. He's done a couple of Green Lantern stuff. He's done some Aquaman stuff. He was a artist for the Power Rangers comic for a little while. Mm -hmm. Um. But again, nobody really like specific, like big name wise, that's gonna draw attention. But he's a very good artist. So, because I'm now I'm done with the phone, I'm gonna move back around. Oh yeah, no problem. So they showed off um, a sample art of Zero One, and um, they showed off a mystery the, villain that has <laughs> been the the no longer mystery mystery villain. So literally yeah. a fucking like it was like not even yeah. thirty minutes after we left, they yes. fucking revealed. Yeah, him. like five minutes after the panel. And <laughs> the best so, part, right, is that they made such a big deal. All right, guys. Well, we're showing this, but we're not allowed to show the final design. It's yeah. still pretty hush hush. And then, like, they didn't even tell us the name either during yeah. the panel. So they they were told that they weren't allowed to discuss the original because they they specified that it's going to be an original story and that there's an original villain. And they said that they weren't allowed to show off the villain or refer to him by name or explain anything about it, other than that it's an original villain. And then. Maybe half an hour later, on Stonebutt's fucking Twitter. <laughs> Fuck it, like, dude. By the way, here's the first photo of Ragnarok, the original villain for the comic. And I was just like, well, gee, I can't, I, you know, fucking thanks, Toei, for being like, <laughs> no, you can't show this off, and then telling them that they can show it off later anyways. <laughs> fucking classic. So, like... Since we since we saw the design now, it's pretty yeah. much confirmed it's like an evil writer at this point. Right? I, I think they, it's an evil writer. They just refer to him as like Ragnarok. Um, he, it kind of looks like he, there is a belt though. So. Yeah, so like I mean, he unless looks, it's gonna be yeah. He looks like uh, I showed the picture to a friend once it was posted on Twitter, and he made a joke about saying that he's common writer Spawn, and that's that's a decent comparison. He does look he does look like Spawn to a degree. Unless he, it's gonna be like how the fucking. Uh, Original Metsubo Jin Rise were where it's not actually a belt, it's a force riser. Oh, possibly. Maybe. It looks like a weird uh, bootleg version of the Arc Driver. Kinda. So, unless they're doing like a Shadow Moon thing where he's not technically a writer, but he is a writer, okay. they don't refer to him as such in any of the uh, the advertising they've posted so far. Okay. I mean, maybe they'll say that later or who knows. Possibly. I will say, I mean, if he does turn out to be a writer, I mean, shit, that's what? Our first original American writer that we've I, ever had? Yeah, I believe so. That would be our first original American ride. Well, then again, we had the Dragon Knight, and then we had 
Mestre. We had burgers. If we don't, <laughs> if we don't count them fucking up the names of the writers in Mast Rider, this is the first original writer. We that's got pretty cool, actually. Yeah, that's actually it's a really cool. I think it's a really cool design. So. I I dig the design. It's. It's really sick. I love the spiky shoulders and the fu- the cape. It's the cape's a little, uh, admittedly, overplayed. But you, know, you the evil villain, evil villains only need always need to have a cool cape. And to be fair, though, when was the last time an evil writer had a cape? Um, the the, the newest movie writer actually. What the fuck, man? The Zeo, <laughs> yeah, the Zeo writers had them. Yeah. Uh, oh, did they? Yeah, they yeah. did. That's how much I remember Zeo. Zero, zero one, and then eventually Wait, Saber. Zero one. Huh? Which one? Ha- who who in zero one had a cape? Well, oh wait, no wait, 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 wait. Did anyone? Yeah, I was like, who had to keep it? Oh shit! I'm like, I'm like, man, my memory. I could have, you know what? I was thinking. No, no, I, was, I think I was like trying to memorize like the order. Oh, okay. Like within reason. No, because I was thinking like, I mean, to be fair, even e- either way, that design looks really sick. And oh, yeah. I kind of, I was thinking oh, to myself, man, it kind of sucks that it's just a comic one. Yeah, but like, here's the thing though. Like, the thing I'm noticing is just like. Man, even the comics are kind of taking out a toy's page. Because, like, if you think about it, it's like, that's just a recolored metal cluster hopper. God damn it, you're right. It, it, it kind of is, yeah. It, it kind of looks like a recolored, like, metal cl- cluster hopper and, like, that cape that he has. Adding a little bit of holes, and it looks like the cape that they've been reusing for, like, a Bravo King Durian arms. Oh, my God, uh, you're yeah. right. The, the cape that's going to be reused for, like, the new movie writer for Revise. <laughs> you know what? I hope when that comic comes out, I hope we, uh, at the next, like, writer panel or meetup or whatever, I hope someone makes that suit real. Oh, that, that was Oh, yeah, sick. that would be dope. Or, like, that I really hope... sick. Or, like, if Japan ever... Or obviously, Japan keeps on doing, like, all the specials and shit, right? <laughs> I imagine. Like, they, they actually, like, they actually include him as an actual villain. That would be sick. That, that would mean, be really like, cool. Like, Toei, like... I, we, yeah. I, it wouldn't be the first time, because I know... No, um, in well, they were going to in Ryu Soldier. They were gonna have uh, what was it? what the fuck's his name from Power Rangers? The uh, evil fusion of um, the green and white ranger. Oh, well, uh, Draken. Draken. Yeah, he was gonna be in Ryu Soldier. What? Really? But they, they made a suit for. He wasn't going to specifically be the character, but they made a suit for him, and he was gonna be the villain in a Ryu Soldier spinoff. Whoa. That got canceled because of COVID, so that never ended up happening. Oh, oh wow, I didn't but know he that. Was, he was going to be in Ryu Soldier. That sounds sick. Yeah. I mean, I hate Draken, but that sounds like a yeah, sick I mean, idea. I, I fucking think he's a terrible character, and he destroyed whatever potential the right the Power Rangers comic had. Thanks, JDF. But, thanks, bro. <laughs> uh, but but beyond that, yeah, I I think because I think if the comic does well, mm-hmm. they might actually do it because they, I would they, love they, they did to do it that. already. So yeah, I mean, just like it could be like a thing that uh, Super Aya has done in the past, like uh, the Ultraman anime, the American Ultraman, I remember Ultraman the, and all that. Honestly, yeah, dude, like, I remember like, uh, seeing a, a photo of the real suit for the Ultraman cartoon. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, like uh, uh, Jonius has a suit now. Yeah. Uh, Beth, Scott, and Chuck have suits. Yeah, um, that's their names. Yeah, yes. Ultraman, yeah. Chuck, Beth, and like shut up. Uh, what? Yeah, so yeah, Scott. The, the, the American from uh. Oh, I think it's like the Deke animation. No, it's Hanna Barbera. Oh, Hanna, oh shit, it's Hanna Barbera. <laughs> yes. What kind of fucking name is that, Chuck? I mean, hey, uh, isn't Father of Ultra's name Ken? Is yeah, it? His name is Ken. Yeah, his name is uh, Ultraman Ken, Ken. I think. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. Fucking Ultraman. No, but at least Ken is like you could translate that Ultraman Blade. If you think about True. it. True. Yeah, anyways, but, but yeah I, I hope that it does well because it, it sounds interesting. It sounds like the people who are getting it. I mean, the artist himself, obviously. I mean, they said on the panel that he loves Ryder. Yeah. yeah. They even showed off like a fan art. Oh, my God. Is that oh, readily like, available somewhere? Um, I don't think so. But, um, yeah, they uh, that was one of the things that they asked, don't take a photo of. Mm. But, I mean, like, it, it looks really cool, though. It does look. It, it's it looks so really cool. It's like sick. Arc 1. Honestly, if that's the type of art we're gonna get, I am actually like, okay, yeah, you know what? That's some good shit. That's yeah. some good shit. So, uh, outside of that, though, I think it's time we talk about the big elephants in the room that we have not been talking about all that much at, at all. So, saving the best for last. Yeah, Twitter. On Twitter, they announced that initially we would be getting Fudo Pi. Just the first episode. Um, that did not happen. We didn't get episode one. We got episode one and two. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, we did. Maybe. And boy, oh boy, like literally after after seeing that, um, 
I, I don't, I, I'm still speechless. The pop that they got when they said, we're going to show you episode two was fucking great. Oh, yeah. That was actually, okay, so just to set the stage, right? Yeah. Like, we came here, obviously, because we did, uh, they announced it on Twitter. Yeah. Because of, they, they announced they were going to show the first episode. I was like, all right, let's let's go watch the first episode. I, I thought that was going to be cool. Yeah. So I went, so we came here and I was like, all right, let's watch the first episode. The, uh, like, I mentioned it on the bus when we came home, or when yep. we got back to the hotel. The sheer electricity in that room the entire way through was honestly kind of awesome, like shocking. Yeah, like it was like it was a packed room. Friggin'. Oh yes, it yeah, was. like it's supposed supposedly it's supposed to fit like eight hundred something people there. Fuck, and like let's it say like, looked like it. and let's yeah. say like fifty seats were taken. That's still seven hundred and fifty people. Yeah. So, like, give or take. So it was a packed fucking room in there. And every single one of them were fucking hyped for this. Oh, yeah. And, by God, they showed, they showed the director, because the director was actually sitting yeah, there. Yeah, the director also did a Q&A. Fun fact, his uh, favorite writer is Skywriter from that the show. So that's the absolute out. madman. The Chad. Well, hi, Chad. Well, yeah, hi, hi, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like the absolute sigma male of a man saying Skyrider. But uh, he was there for the first uh, uh, episode, at least. Yeah, he was at least there for the first episode. Um, yeah, no, like literally the electricity, the energy in that room was crazy. I, I, I described it like when people started cheering, I described it like if you've ever been to like a concert or a wrestling show... And, like, the crowd yells, and you start hearing that, like, in your ear. Because yeah. it's just so loud. That's how loud it got in there. Because everyone was just, like, into it. And yeah. I told Jay and you, and uh, you and Jay, because I, I checked, I looked around, because I saw the director there. Yeah. His reaction when he saw people, like, cheering for double was like, oh, shit, really? Like, really, really? I didn't think people cared. No, I, like, I, I think I saw a lot of that beyond, like, the uh, the team writer guys themselves at the panel like I think there was a uh, I couldn't say for sure but it's I think with a uh, sitting by the director because he had his translator and I'm gonna assume the other people he was sitting with were probably if not like connected to Telway probably at least like other Bandai people there for the convention yeah. and I, they had kind of similar reactions when the crowd was popping it was like. Wait. It's oh like, shit! These fucking gaijin actually care. Oh my god! They know what this is and they yeah. like it. Like wow, okay, this this like you can you can hear like the ching. Yeah, and like, it wasn't even like sorry to catch off. It yeah, wasn't even like the obvious stuff you would think people would pop for. It was oh, like, dude! <laughs> like not to not to spoil what happened. You know anything from the actual episode mm -hmm. itself? Like the most inconsequential like bit from the show would pop up and the entire audience would pop and start cheering when it happened. Like, it, I yeah, think yeah. we could say, like, th at least this much for those who have read the manga, just like you obviously see cameos from the show proper and proper. Oh, yeah. Like, heck, all of those, like, all the side characters all got loud applauses. Oh, my God. Uh, I don't know. If, can, can I say who a uh, specific character? Because, like, like, I think at some point, just, like, people will know that, like, hey, we run into, like, uh, Santa-chan. Okay, run into, so like, that's, that's what I was going to say. Santa-chan. I think it's pretty obvious that at least all of the irregulars will appear yeah. once. Even yeah. if you've never read the comic, it's, like, it's based on Double and it's Sanjo. And it's Obvious, the same city and everything. It's, yeah. it's the same setting. I think it's safe to assume every character is going to want to show up. Everyone's so. here. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, so, like, we have some of the uh, old school side characters and everything, uh, every and everybody got a pop. The one who got the loudest one of the side characters was Santa Chan. Yeah, I was Santa like, Santa Chan oh, and like shit. Watcher Man. The, uh, Watcher Man definitely had the loudest. Oh, pop. Yeah. Yes, he did. I didn't even think people would give a shit. I was like, really? People like Watcher Man? Dude, he's the you? best one. Are you I know, me? but no. like, I didn't think people would give a shit. But I was like, yo, people are going fucking wild for this guy. <laughs> so yeah, so p the the actual first episode without because. Without giving any uh, plot spoilers, we we have been asked. We asked them like literally if we're if we're gonna talk about this, how can we talk about this? But like yeah, we we're not gonna be able to give spoilers. Mm -hmm. Just your general reaction, guys. But um. But just can, just a re yeah. I can say this much: if you've read what is available, that's been oh, fan sub. You've seen a decent chunk of what the anime covers. I'm not mm. gonna say specifically how many chapters, mm. but. Based on the amount of the manga that is officially available, well, not officially, that's available. Like, obviously, it's not officially available <laughs> in English yet. But 
based on the amount of the manga that I know is available in English, if you've read the entirety that's in English, you've probably already, well, I would assume that if you've read it all, you've seen it. You've seen what's in the anime, mm-hmm. but I'm not going to tell you how much was in the anime. That was because there's a lot of really cool shit. Oh yeah. oh yeah, there's there's a really there's a really good amount of good stuff. That's honestly, I think we're super excited. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So uh, to to give my general thoughts of it so far. Oh yeah. Oh. To give my general thoughts of it. Uh, so again, no spoilers for this for the plot, but really fun. Honestly, pacing good pacing, really fucking fast. Which I think, which I'm, I'm happy about. I'm oh, happy yeah. that like, they're not doing the typical pad out the anime shit. They're just like, yeah. nope, get that shit into it. And of course, uh, we'll get a bit more into it when we talk about episode two. Oh yeah. Uh, animation stellar, stellar animation. Oh yeah. Beautiful. I, I have a couple of gripes, but uh, mm. 90% of it was absolutely gorgeous. I think it's the CG. It's de- yeah, yeah, it's the CG. So most of the show is 2D animation. Sometimes, when for more like dynamic shots, they'll switch to CG. Both for predominantly just for the environments and like backgrounds. Mm-hmm. The characters themselves, other than one moment when Shotaro was riding Hard Boilder, and just one time because he wrote it a couple of times. He, he wrote it more than zero one. He wrote it more than he did in the actual show. He wrote it pretty cre- frequently in the show. Yeah, but I think you know. You usually saw him pulling up and getting off. You didn't see him like actually riding, just because I don't think Kiriyama had a motorcycle license. They usually don't let the actors ride the bikes anymore. <laughs> they learned that lesson in the they, 70s. They learned that 50 years ago. They learned yeah. that shit in the 70s. So because it's obviously they don't have to worry about that or traffic logs, you see, do, you do see a lot more, and this is just in general in the manga, you see a lot more bike action. I think Sanjo likes the bikes, to be honest. Oh, totally. Yeah. He always has. It's what makes Kamen Rider Kamen Rider, Yeah, all, yeah so. he, he fucking, I mean, to be fair, even then, like, Hard Boiled is just... Like, in terms of rider machines, it's a very nice looking one. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's so very lovely. There's a couple of moments where that switched to CG, and it was relatively seamless. But whenever they did, like, the environments in CG, they they were very kind of jarring. Mm-hmm. And I think it's predominantly reserved for, like, really dynamic scenes when, like, the camera's spinning around or they're, they're making a lot of quick cuts and it's moving from uh, place to place pretty quickly. So there, it's like okay, I can understand doing that CG, and it's a little like the, um, there's when you see uh you get to see a part of the billiard hall that they only really showed like very briefly in the show, and that they did in CG, and I think it's mostly because like they don't you know obviously it doesn't exist anymore, so they can't yeah. use it for photo reference, so they kind of had to they kind of had to wing it, so it does look a little um little chunky to be fair though that's something that we notice yeah, yeah. That's true. i don't think it's going to be something that the uh, the general masses is to be like really noticeable no yeah. i think if you're like if you're a hardcore fan you're going to notice these things or if you're like a like an animation buff you're going to notice these things <laughs> so just like overall yeah. like the cg use in it like um I'm, I'm fairly certain japan does actually still have reference photos of the billiards uh like of the billiards uh, sure like probably it's probably the so. records but like at the same time it's like there were so many things I wanted to pause in that scene, like even just with the stairs. There was a lot of like, there legitimately were... like, like oh wow, I recognize what that is. Yeah, That's there were familiar. like deep cut oh, yeah. references. Oh yeah. Like heck, like even in some, there's already like early reference, like there's already like a nice nod in the first damn, or like not the first, the, the first actual scene, but like <laughs> what beginning. you see, like you'll, you guys will know what we're talking about yeah, yeah, yeah. after like when the first episode it, airs. It's it's something that I'll say like. If you like Double, this show is made for people who love Double. Yeah. Like, if you love Double, you'll recognize all these little references, like, all these little characters, all this side stuff. It's going to be like, oh, wow, uh, I recognize. That's awesome. Honestly, even if, like, even if you've never seen Double, if you watch this, well, first of all, you're doing it wrong. Um, <laughs> but if you watch this with no knowledge of Double, I think you'll be into this. Because oh, yeah. I, I was talking to a friend of mine who, uh, it was like, Dude, that was the hypest shit. And then he's like, I should watch Double now. And I'm like, you fuck, like you fucking Meteor Dodger. How have you not seen Double yet? I've told you to see it 12 fucking times. But then I'm like, this is exactly, like, yeah, this is kind of what we're looking for is yeah. that this is like this, sh- you know, as much as I, uh, I like to praise gatekeeping, I think this is something that we <laughs> need is that we need a good, solid product to show off just how great this franchise is to get people into it 
And I think I think for the most part, uh, it is. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, based, I, because I, I've read a decent chunk of the manga, both what's in English and I, I've tried to read. Um, my Japanese isn't good enough to read the manga fully, uh, fully un- uh, untranslated. But I can, <laughs> I, I can, I can read a decent enough of it to get like some some moments. So I've read some of the untranslated stuff yeah. and. Based on what was both it, what's in English, based on what I've seen in the manga, and comparing it to the show, they do a really good job at uh, replicating a lot of the panel layout and the cuts and the flow of the action. Uh, and I think I, it's a very solid um, adaptation. I will say I was telling Chad this on the when he was uh, taking me to my hotel. Um, a lot of the stuff. Like, there was no off-model shit. Nothing. No. Yeah. It was very on-model, very pretty, very consistent. Yeah. Like, it just looks... Like, even shit that, like, shouldn't really look good still looks fantastic. Yeah. Um, this is not a plot spoiler, but uh, a lot of... They, they keep a lot of uh, the, the original actor, Renz, from Double, like, Shotaro's yeah. actor. They keep a lot of... That's one thing I like. They keep a lot of his facial expressions. Yeah, his facial expressions, like, just his... um. Like his general movements, like um, like the the way he always like flicks his wrist, for example. <laughs> oh yes, like, actually all, they mentioned something about that in the panel, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, like during the panel, like the the director, we actually did get a Q and A with um just like the the director. That was um oh, questions coming from Twitter, but I yeah. mean or social media, and pretty much like Q was saying like oh yeah no like they did like a bunch of deep cuts just to like study like study the basically Seiji Takai was like movements for like action scenes and like other things and like like no like if anything this is definitely like pretty much we're re-entering the world of double again just in animation yes. form i would not be surprised if it wasn't just takaiwa i think they've probably referenced everybody oh, because yeah. even akiko like she moved like akiko shotaro moved like shotaro philip moved like philip and it's like i mean shit even down to the minor characters it's like it's almost like they got like their gates and their their uh, yeah. their postures right. It's like that's really impressive, you know. Yeah. Like the way uh like the way Shotaro would walk, you know, he has that strut, yeah. and he had that strut in the end. I was like, wow, that that is really like that's attention to detail you don't usually get yeah. in anime. Like, just like especially like it's, like just watching like the body language of the characters. Mm. Like, it was like there are some movements that we see with, like Shotaro. It's like, oh no, he would definitely do that if you were like doing. Like something like there's, I, I think there's definitely like a scene like, like y'all know what I'm talking about, but like we can't talk about it. Yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it's like, like, yeah. It's like no, it's like oh hell yeah, that like that is something Shotaro would do. It's like, it feels a lot like Kiriyama Ren. Yeah, or, or I mean, shit, we can you can even say that about Philip. Like, yeah, like Philip, of course, you know, in the in the show, he's very like almost like still, you know, he's like very stiff. And yeah. they got that kind of like flow to him too, and it's like I like that. Again, that's that's attention to detail you don't usually get in anime, especially anime that's based off like live action stuff. Oh, totally. oh absolutely, yeah. And that that goes on to episode two, which I mean, just I mean that was just fantastic. Oh yeah, but I, um, think, yeah. I think the only thing I do want to say is just like in terms of the voice acting, like if you know some of these um the voice actors from other roles, mm-hmm. like it might be a little distracting. So again, proceed with caution. But mm-hmm. aside from that, low. Like, uh, aside from that, blah, 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 blah. I mean, they got Daisuke Ono in this. Yeah, it's like... Daisuke yeah. Ono is apparently going to be the big bad, but we haven't seen him at all yet. Yeah, I, I'm, I mean, he doesn't come out until, like, what? Like, like... I'm probably going to assume, like, episode four or five, I maybe think, early three. I think in the manga is, like, volume three, so I think that's probably a reasonable guess. Okay. Yeah, so. Because but, for right now, it's, it feels more... Mm, I can't say that, though. No, I'm not going to Yeah, say no, no, like, I'd say for now, though, like... In terms of, like, listening to Philip's voice actor, for example, it's, like, Koki Uchiyama. Basically, he's voiced by Shigaraki's, uh, from My Hero Academia. And, like, throughout the whole time, it's, like, I couldn't... Well, actually, aside from Shigaraki, um, he also was play... He also played Disaster in Saber. Weird. You're giving me a shrimp allergy over here. Uh, I'm sorry. But anyways, like, no, 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 like, um... <laughs> Uh, uh, but like, um, I'll, I'll say it. I'll say this. It was kind of. It was a little distracting. If I'm going to be completely honest. I, I'll say it like this, uh, and we'll get a, a bit more into it with episode two. Watching this, without again, no, no plot, anything. You feel like you're watching double. Yeah, you f- definitely feel like you're watching double. It's like I never left. Yeah, 
It's great. It's sincerely great. The one thing I will say though, and this is just obvious because everyone's seen the design, uh, it feels like Philip's wearing a wig. Yeah, they gave him green hair for some reason, which is kind of weird. I mean, otherwise he looks accurate, but I don't know why they did that. Well, it's not even just green hair. It's green hair, but like he has his brown under it. Oh yeah, it's it's like he colored it. Yeah, you know what? I guess that would fit. Like, oh. Uh, I got into dyeing my hair. Yeah, because he searched it up, and it's just like, oh no, that sounds like that's, fun. Yeah, that that's, you know what? That's in character for Philip. If they if they use that as an excuse, <laughs> that would be kind of funny though. They should do that. But yeah, um, the voice acting was pretty good for the main crew, because um, I know Shotaro and Phillips were the voice actors in Memory of Heroes, and uh, they weren't very good in that. No. Uh, yeah. They were the best the the best of the replacement VAs in that. Oh, don't even get me started. I remember Ankh's. Uh, mm. But uh, they were way better in this. I mm. feel like they had a... Well, it was probably just the better direct voice director. Um, they felt like they were a more natural fit for the roles yeah. in this. Um, Shotro's was pretty good. I mean, his his voice is naturally a little deeper than Kiriyama's is because I know Kir- Kiriyama has kind of a deep voice but he's yeah. he's still kind of got like a little bit of a squeakiness to him that fits the uh, he has character. a whine to it yeah he's a little bit of a whiner yeah. um, and uh, I forget who was playing Shotaro but he um, he's a little more naturally deep voiced so yeah which I guess it, uh, a slightly more mature well mature physically I guess uh, Shotaro actually that works because uh, yes. Technically, how long ago after Double is this? I, d- um, I don't, don't think they say. They don't say it, but I'm assuming it's like literally after the season. Like, I, I'm assuming, I'm to assume, because like, going off the manga, like, A to Z already happened, and then so, I believe, because like, I know we do see Booster at some point in the manga, so I'm assuming... Oh, no, wait, no, no, no. We already know Akiko and uh, Teruya already got married. Yeah, yeah so this is way say, after yeah. Double. I was about to say... We, the show, well, the manga also confirms that they're they're married. So this is at least after Axel's V Cinema. So this is probably, I'm going to say, at least two or three years. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, then that would make sense that Shotaro himself is a I, bit more mature. Of the manga that I read, I don't think they mentioned their kid, because I know Teruri Ter- yeah. Ter- mentions that they have a kid in uh, the drive, yeah. his drive cameo, so... Probably sometime between those. So this, so they'll probably have the kid around some... Probably around this time, do they, time do they ever mention the kid in the manga? Or um, maybe it's just not like... That not, that not, I, not that I've noticed. Not okay. in any parts that I've seen. And besides that, like, spoilers for the manga, like... There, there's a lot of people making kind of a big fuss on Twitter currently right now. Yeah, But it's I just like, that. we, we kind of, like... Because considering that Sanjo wrote the Drive special for Chaser, and everything that we're to know through that... I believe Futo P.I. takes place in between, like, basically after the V Cinema for Axel and, and but, like, kind of before the drive of hmm. V Cinema for Chaser. Well, as we all know, Sanjo is a continuity whore, so I'm sure he'll <laughs> find a way to fit that all back together. Yeah, you guys bless him for it. I mean, fucking, Tarui came back again a couple times recently, and he, granted, those weren't Sanjo, so you can't really fit those yeah. in. But I mean, that's. Also, I mean, yeah. um, looked up the voice actor for uh, Shotaro. Uh, he's voiced by Yoshimasa Hosoya, which is uh, Tokoyami in uh, uh, My Hero Academia. Yeah, so he was really good. Uh, I like Phillips. Uh, you said Uchiyama, right? Oh, yeah, Koki Uchiyama, who played Disast, and also. Um, <laughs> he also played uh, Shigaraki. Uh, I, I thought he was a pretty good Philip. Um, he, his, he copies the mannerisms well. Like, there's a point. Um, where he lapses into one of uh, Philip's little um, usual fixation tangents, and there he really felt like it, he was uh, Suda. He yes. really copied the yes. manner- mannerisms and the way he kind of enunciated things well. Otherwise, he 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 fit it decently, but I don't think he, he, I can tell it's not Suda. I can tell he's not he's not quite a one to one fit. You know what it, what it is? He kind of played. It, this is gonna sound weird. He kind of plays him a bit to, what's the word? Is Ikamen the right word? Um, no, no, it's not. It's uh, a B shonen. Yeah, he plays it because like Suda never played into that. He yeah. was, he was obviously like naturally effeminate in some in some sense. Like I feel like with um the way Suda portrayed Philip is like very much like 
Kind of an airhead, but also like like an, a, a genius airhead. Yeah, and with with uh, how who who is it who is it plays? Uh, Uchiyama. Uchiyama. With him, he plays him kind of a little bit more bishonen. Like yeah, he's, a little he bit. feels a bit more like he's trying to fuck you. But uh, <laughs> I mean, this is double. So. <laughs> so with episode two again, same shit, really good stuff. Um, can we say anything about like not? Can we just say that we heard the opening and endings? Um. I'm oh sure yeah. Def- I think we could definitely say like we can at least give a general like reaction Consensus of to what it, it. The opening was pretty bopping, and the ending was pretty fucking baller. The the ending is quite possibly, I think, the best song connected to Double. Oh, oh definitely. Like, because it's, that's hard to do. Because it's got it's you've got of course Matsuoka singing. Yeah. And you've got backing vocals and the instrumentals by Koji Kikawa. And it's so fucking good. Okay, like, here's the thing, like, if we weren't stuck with, like, an audience, like, I could already tell, like, just through the, listening to the Japanese, no, this is a love letter to Double. Like, the lyrics itself are already hard cuts to, like, what is Double? This is Double. This is the world of Double. It's fucking great. It, It is wonderful, like... Oh my gosh, like, and then the opening is just, no, you guys are gonna love it. The opening's a bit strange t- to some people because, again, this it has nothing to do with the plot, but it's, it's definitely a bit strange. Not your, it's definitely not your typical anime opening. It's yeah. mostly instrumental. Mm-hmm. It's, it's like, uh, I'm trying, there's a, there's a, there's an actual term for this, but it's like Jay said, it's instrumental with small vocals just inserted yeah. into it. So it's, it's good though. I liked it. I liked what I heard. I, I definitely want to give it another listen. And it, it's it's very it's very good. Like, Though this is this is me being the music guy. Yeah. Hearing it, it it's 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 beautiful because yeah. the uh, the WBX band has done something that I always love when they do when people do like sequel songs and stuff like that. I love it because it's like each one, this one, uh, the the original over again, and this one, they all feel like they fit together. Oh, no, essentially. And this one, it was like, oh shit, that feels like. This is definitely a song that comes after all that shit. Oh yeah, it's great. And besides that, like we can, I think we can also talk even a bit more about the soundtrack of the anime, which <laughs> is just like you're you're back. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're back. It, honestly, it's re- I. It was kind of shocking, just how good they like, made it sound. Heck, okay, like you know, it's pretty like the audience was crazy when, heck, you hear. Like the music and like certain tracks play in, mm. and then just like it's like oh my gosh, it's that moment. It's, like it's that. <laughs> like all right, to the people hearing this, all right, think of a double song, or think of the double song, or like any double background music. Yeah, it's there and it's beautiful. Like, it's obviously done by again, think uh, well, definitely done by the original people that did the composing and. Like, and, like, who did the original series music. And it works. And, well, it's supposed to, obviously, it's supposed to work. It works just like, so well. Except this time, like, it hits even harder, and it's just, like, it, it's wonderful. Even even the uh, the original tracks for some of the uh, the characters, um, mm. they, they they feel like I could just, like, okay, let's slot that into the to yeah. an episode here. It, it fits in, like, if you were to take any of the soundtrack from, like, this anime and, like, play it over a scene in, like, double, it's, like... It's like, wait, what? Was this actually not in the show? Right. But like, like if some right. tracks, like you have to listen closely. It's like, wait a minute, no, this is a variation of another track that we saw on the show. Once again, it's, a deep cut. It's like old, but it's still. It's like it's new, but it's kind of old, and it's it's good. So, um, okay, I'm gonna just say it, and then we'll cut it out if we can't. So, the transformation scene, I think that's good. Um, yeah, they, they said we could just give a general reaction. Okay, that. transformation, holy fucking shit. I'm gonna come. <laughs> holy fuck. Mm. Oh my gosh, like, okay. Whoa, like just, you guys, none of you are prepared. None of you are prepared. I, I swear to God, I my ears were ringing the rest of the night from how loud people cheered. Holy shit, people were going f- Fucking nuts! So it it sounded just like so. Obviously, they have the they keep all of the belt sound. They keep Tachiki doing mm, the Gaia memories. Beautiful. Uh, and you know, I think it's safe. To, you know, I don't think this necessarily counts as a spoiler. We do see a few original Gaia memories in the manga, and 
Yeah. I was worried they were going to recast him. I don't know why they would. Uh, I mean, he's already a notable VA. He's he's he's, Akai, he's Akainu from uh, he's, One Piece. He's fucking Gendo Ikari. That's. I don't know why. I don't know why they would recast him. But I ha- I kind of had that initial fear. It was like, okay, maybe they won't get him back. Maybe they'll they'll do an excuse not to bring him back or something. No, they keep him back for. Uh, we only get one, and I'm not gonna say what it was. But um, if you've read the manga, especially yeah. the original, I, I did pop for that though. Yeah, I, like, I did too. Oh, I was like, oh, oh shit, he's back. Um, it's him. They, I think they kept the original samples from the show for uh, Cyclone Joker. If they're not, they're very, very close. Because I, it was admittedly hard to hear because everybody started <laughs> popping the second the bell came out. Yeah. Because you hear the original, uh, the, the new guy in memory, and you can kind of hear the, the bit more of the gravel to his voice if you've heard Tachki's more recent roles. Um, yeah. He's definitely got a... He's, uh, he's getting a, old. He's getting up there and his... <laughs> He can't really do it quite as he used to, so his his voice is getting a little gravelier. Don't worry, the the audience did it for him. That's true. Well, then again, <laughs> just like it's like AJ said, like when we were talking in the cars, like basically I usually never like shout or cheer for like screenings or you movies. mark the fuck out. I was I was yelling my head off. Oh yeah. I uh, again, not- I this is obviously not a spoiler because. You know what double transformation is like? Yeah. Having an entire room of people basically sing along to it was like fucking A. Oh yeah. Like and not only sing along to it on time. Like yeah. it's like we got like that is just ingrained to our minds where we have the timing on pat. It's without, like without yeah. any pre planning, without anybody like th- thinking about it or like trying to make it a bit or everybody simultaneously without having to be like without one person like starting it and everybody else continuing everybody simultaneously started doing along with the whole sequence and everything I saw Chad like the moment like the guy memory popped out he was like yeah just, just clenched stanced up <laughs> like just powered like I'm just like oh my gosh is it gonna happen it's like oh my god it's happening for fucking marks dude <laughs> I know <laughs> Well, you know what? Hey, this is this is worth it. It's I worth know, it to be I know it Marvel. really was, dude. And on it, like I said, to have an auditorium of people, well, not like a, like a room of people of seven hundred something people, just lose their shit. It's like, oh yeah, that's uh, it's oh, it's. Yeah. I think that's what they call a contact high. And you know, of course, the animation for the transformation scene was. It's art. None of you guys, again, are prepared. Even if I, I described it, it would do it a disservice. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Even, even if I was allowed to, I don't think I could properly describe how <laughs> absolutely bonkers that was. It, it was badass. Because it, it, it yeah. should be. It, like, if you think the Henshin scene is cool in like, the series, which is pretty simple if we're going to be completely honest. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, no, they leveled it up. Again, it, they it, turned it up to eleven, as the uh, kids say. Uh, oh, yeah. Again, like even if we were to like sit here for like three hours to describe it, it would do it a disservice. Like you just oh, yeah. can't describe. It's it's an experience, as I've been telling a lot of people. It's like, no, you don't ask me questions. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've I've been trying to avoid like tell because I know I had a couple other friends who were here. Yeah. They didn't get to go see it. I've been trying to avoid saying anything about the show. Yeah. I'm like, okay, here are my quick notes. Just wait for it to come out. You don't want to hear anything. Like, you just, like, it's, yeah. like, just... I don't want yeah. to start, I, I, like, it's, like, it's that thing where, like, I want to talk about this with people, but I can't. I know. I, I know. know exactly how you feel. <laughs> but, again, like, it was one of those moments where, like, I don't, I don't fucking care. I marked the fuck out. Oh, yeah. I was, I, I was too, and I usually don't in situations <laughs> I, like this. Like, I think the best, like, the best recent experience that anyone can compare this to it was like a normal audience watching like far or like No Way Home or even Endgame. Like the Avengers, dude. It's like, yeah, it's, like it's literally, like it got shit. cheers like that. It's like an that event. Level. It's not just yeah. a show. It's an event. This, this oh, is yeah. like this is important. <laughs> it was great, man. It was fucking great. Um, I think I even told uh, AJ over there. It was like the last time I felt like that was like probably the first Avengers movie. And and I even told uh, and I told David like. It takes a lot to, like, in a movie or a TV show or whatever, it takes a lot to shut me up. Like, like, be quiet, watch the screen. And that was like, yeah, I gotta, I'm, just, I'm not even gonna say anything. I'm gonna watch this fucking screen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was 
Mm. Like I was like I was doing my usual bit because I'm a fucking brain case and I always have to. I I unfortunately have been destroyed by MST3K and I'm un- <laughs> a- unable to watch something without riffing it anymore. Yeah. Even when I'm by myself, I have to make jokes. Oh yeah. It's a disease, unfortunately. <laughs> but like I was doing it for like the first like five or ten minutes during episode one, and eventually I'm just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna watch. It, it was like like I would like I would say something to like AJ if like there was so I wanted to make a specific like comments about something in the show but like I wasn't doing my usual bit where I like I'm doing commentary it was just me like making like an observation yeah of it. and I I tried to keep my mouth <laughs> shut as much as possible after like after like the first five minutes or so I think that that goes to show like how good the pacing in the show is though. oh yeah it's like, like- if anything, yeah. I was actually initially worried about like the pacing of the show. They're gonna do that that like pad padded the yeah. fuck out thing. Yeah, like either pad it the fuck out or like skip over important bits mm. in the manga. But it was just like no, like this was treated pretty delicately. No, I didn't. I flipped through a little bit uh, the night after, and I don't. They didn't cut anything at all. Yeah, they, they didn't. They no. reorganized some some scenes just to make it uh, feel yeah, a little and better. Heck, they even kind of added a little bit here and there, but it's like not... Only to like yeah. extend it, some scenes that were yeah. short just because of, you know, Pe- yeah. they're, they're like a splash page in the manga, or there are a couple yeah. of pages, and obviously that's going to be too short if you do it one-to-one, so they'll extend it. Of course. <laughs> Honestly, Chad, again, no spoilers for the people at home, but conser- con- like uh, concerning certain people in the manga and yeah. certain transformation scenes we're going to get to see eventually. Mm. Fuck, I am hyped to see how good they oh, do those. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They did this for base form? Fucking hell. Yeah, like, I'm really excited for episode three and all the content that we will be getting there. Oh, yeah. Because it's going to be really, really good. I mean, overall, I mean, that's that's that was the panel, because, I mean, yeah. shit, how do you fucking, you can't, you never top that. No. No, you of course can't. not. It's no. great. And like, if anything, like, I guess, kind of going off the aftermath of that, like, um, like on my personal, in- like, you know, something's really good if I'm posting this on like my personal social media. Oh yeah. <laughs> if I'm not posting on Toku Photo Biz about Common Rider, like, obviously, I did post about it there. Kind of gave my reaction there, but it's one of those things that where it got me to post on like my own Facebook and Instagram. It's like, holy shit. This was a 10 out of 10 day. And like 10 out of 10 is still an understatement. Oh yeah. It's, again, I, I've, I've used this this uh, this analogy like since that day, right? Yeah. It felt like coming out of like a big wrestling show. Like, I feel like I just saw Stone Cold on the fucking screen, dude. I was like, holy shit, I, I can't sleep. I'm wired the fuck up right now. Yeah, like if anything, and it's also really interesting because like, on the car ride over here, I was kind of telling AJ, just like, yeah, no, like, we, like, we are definitely on, like, Japan, like, the fact that this event happened is on Japanese news, apparently, because, like, one, what? Like, no, like, one, oh, no, we're on like, TV? Well, no, not even that, but it's like, oh, yeah, no, like, this event happened. Oh, okay. Like, that kind of thing. We're not us personally, because, like, hey, you case, fucking imagine that shit? Look at these assholes. <laughs> like, we could talk a little bit about that you later. You know what? I won't lie. Yeah. I did see, I did see that it was be, like, this was on, you know, usually the conventions get on the news just because yeah. it's like, here's the thing going on today. But yeah, I saw like, AX was on Japanese news, like, yeah. that they were doing this panel specifically, I think I saw like, footage of. Yeah. And I won't lie, I mostly checked it out just to see if we could see us, but. <laughs> uh, yeah. There's these I assholes. was kind of surprised at just like, how how big this was. Just yeah. not, not just the convention in general, but this specific My, The thing is, <laughs> like, I, I was gonna say, like, yeah. um, literally on Instagram, one of the Japanese moms that, like, I still keep in, kind of keep in touch with, okay, that's kind of weird, but, like, it's a, like, basically, I still keep in touch with the family, basically. Oh, oh, shut up. Y'all are, y'all are giving weird looks, but, like, um... With the new codes on that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, 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 but, like, even, so, it's, like... You think Phil's not here? He'd make that trippy. <laughs> of course, but, like, no, 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 because, like, I still keep in touch with, like, a Japanese family, mm. and, like, the, the mom actually messaged me directly. It's like, whoa, okay, first off, I didn't know there, there was a food... To, like, I, we liked Common Rider Double, but it's like, there was a... There was extra content after it. It's like yeah. it was like oh yeah. First off, there's a manga, and like in August we're gonna get an anime about it. And then like hours later, like after I fell asleep, she's like, "Yo, okay, like we heard about the anime events in in America. Just like 
Wow, I'm really glad to see it. Like it really popped off. Like it's, it did really yeah. well. Oh, yeah. It's funny because um my uh my folks called me when I woke. Well, I called my folks, and they were saying like we heard that there was this like big event about like this. Cause they they know what common writer is. So, like we heard there was a big event for that stuff, and it's like were you there? And she's like yeah, I was there. It's like we God were hearing damn about right it. I was. It's like I was there. I was in front. Of, I was like we heard that it was like a it was like a big crowd, and people were like really excited about it. Over there. I was like yeah, there were fucking. People were hyped about yeah, that we, shit. Yeah, we were right there in the front row. Our um, dumbasses. <laughs> for, uh, people in Japan have literally told me, it's like, yo, I heard it popped off. What the hell happened there? Woo! It's like, no, I, I definitely want, I really hope that this reaction does come out. Oh, um, like, yeah. I oh, hope yeah. that, like, even Japan gets to see it's like, oh my god, these Americans are crazy. And it's if, just, if, like, if not Japan as a whole, at yeah. least Toei. Yeah, at, Definitely at least Toei or Bandai or like someone and, within yeah. the chain. Because then if they see that, they'll be like, oh shit, this is actually something we should pay attention to. Yeah, like oh, if yeah. anything, like obviously it wasn't announced that we're getting like the original double season. Mm. But like if anything, if like if, well definitely this, I think this reaction and like the stories of what happened at Anime Expo 2022. Yeah. We'll definitely reach back to them and say, like, oh, shit, we kind of need to get this season out to the mass public it, in America. Yeah. Especially with the show's director being there. Yeah. If, if anybody is going to tell the reaction, it's going to be him. He's going to mm. be like, these people were so amazingly hyped for this. We need, like, we need to make this. Yeah. We need to put more work it was a, It was like a fucking, like, it was like a party in there. Yeah, and besides oh, yeah. that, like, wait, she wasn't there for, like, the moment, like, if he people, saw the transformation scene, yeah, the trans, <laughs> yeah, like, because like, heck, like, would, would we consider this a spoiler? Because like, what the fact that everyone's like speaking Japanese together? Well, no, because I, because I kind of said that everyone was saying the oh, singing yeah. along to the transformation. We did, oh, I yeah. think, so. I, yeah, we we well, did mention yeah. that. That's kind of vague. I mean, that's. You, again, it's not a spoiler to say there is a transformation in the. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a spoiler to say double says his catchphrase. Exactly. That's true because it's gonna happen at some point. Yeah, it's, so it's an inevitability. So like Chad said, like. Again, and also as Jay said, unplanned, nobody started it, nobody finished, no. Everybody at the exact, exact same, same time. time. Exact, damn it, <laughs> oh. I, was, I was zoning out. Okay, let's do that again. Everyone, Everyone at, at the exact, exact same, same time. time. Jinx, you both of me a coat, fuck, fuck you. Shut, shut up, no. <laughs> Let me get to throw this at you. I bought that. I, oh, can, I, can, I can throw this at you too. <laughs> Anyways, no, so like, everyone at the exact same time, again, no planning, no nothing. Say the double catchphrase again in Japanese, like Chad said, together loudly, and it's like, holy shit, that was cool. It was so cool. <laughs> That's very cool. Very cool. Very cool. That's cool. right, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Jay. <laughs> no, but like it's like you said. I wish the director was there for that specific moment. Yeah. Because I think that right there would have been able, like, you know what? This shit's gonna work. It's oh, yeah. fucking popped. And, and like. Even before and after the panel, like, I've already been shopping around, like, the trailer to all sorts of friends. Who, oh, same here. Like, who know of Kamen Rider, who don't know of Kamen Rider. My family's, like, like, my dad kind of grew up on Ultraman and Godzilla. It's like, oh, you know what, this actually kind of looks interesting. OG. Like, my older brother is just, like, not a Kamen Rider fan. It's like, oh, you know what, the animation looks really good. Yeah. And, like, other friends, it's like, yo, like, I can already tell this is already a lot different than, like, the other, like, anime that we're getting, like, on a normal basis. Let like, me guess, your brother's more of a Garo guy. Uh, no, he's not a Tokusatsu fan at all, actually. Damn. Well, anyway, no, it's he like, like Evolver. He's the weak one in the family. Yeah, he's the weak one in the family. <laughs> his, first, his, first series, his first and last series was Evolver. <laughs> no, but anyways, like, no, like, even friends, like, everyone's, like, literally since, like, oh, yeah, no, this is definitely stylistically and tonally different than, like, what we usually get. Oh, like definitely. Like, an yeah. anime season. Like, oh, yeah, this isn't your typical cutesy, like, ro rom-com or, like, oh, your typical you know isekai. You, you know what? You say it like that. But it's true because the best way I can describe the feeling of this show, yeah, it's just a tokusatsu show. It's written like a tokusatsu show, but just animated. Yeah, and like that's gonna get people like really like, hmm, okay, man, I'll, I'll check that out. Yeah, and like definitely like, one of my friends, like I was hanging out with one of my buddies yesterday at like Anime Expo, yeah, or, or at, just alone outside okay. of like hanging out with these two guys. Like Abandoned. literally, he was like, you know, no, like just this first scene alone, you already had me sold. Oh yeah. So it's like if anything. I think this is a really, really strong and good stepping stone, because although like a lot of people on Twitter will say that, yeah, yeah, they're they're not doing anything, just like, oh yeah, <laughs> they it's didn't too slow. Anything exciting. Yeah. yeah, no, like if anything, 
stepping stones, guys. Let's be patient. Like, this is already a very strong stepping stone. If one, the animation is great. Oh, yeah. And two, it got the reaction. And, like, and three, it it's got... the normies. Yeah, and, like, yeah. it plays the normies. And, yeah, like, even three, like, if people, both fans and non-fans alike, and, like, even people who are only seeing the trailer mm. are, like, getting hyped as shit for this, then by all means, like, no, this is, I think this is a very strong point in a turning point for Kamen Rider in the United States. It's, it's amazing. The thing is, like, no matter how you look at just this itself, it's, it's going to show everybody that there is more to be had here. And again, yeah. like we said, the people on Twitter fucking complain. They don't know what they're fucking talking about. Of course. No. Because the thing is, look, they, like, somebody, mm -hmm. Somebody we know that we are no, aware we, of. Everyone, one, like, one of everyone, our many nemesis. Yeah, somebody that we, nemesis. Nemesis. Yeah, well, either way, we see a lot of people on Twitter, whether we know them or not. Yeah. So one of one, so one of these people, when they said, I thought it was so ignorant for them to say nothing exciting happened here. It's like, okay, first the fuck off. Kuga's Blu-ray. That's huge. No matter who yeah. you think you are, it's huge. It's like, and besides that, that's also a main point that everyone's been complaining about. It's like, we want more physical releases. And it's like, Kuga on Blu-ray. It's like, uh, Not like that. Yeah, it's like, what are we expecting them to do? Get Gaim? Get... Yeah. I know, why would oh, you okay. put shit out? Oh, shut up. I love Gaim. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, or what, what, it's like, what, do we, do we want them to just randomly, like, announce Ghosts is coming to Blu-ray? Yeah, uh, well, <laughs> yeah well, that might as well just close up some, now. Somebody there at the meetup probably would. No, but like, like but like, sincerely, like, you've got Kuga's Blu-ray, you have Zero One and his comic, yeah. Black Sun, Shin Kamen Rider, all of this crazy-ass shit coming out. For fuck's sake, Japan made a, well, granted, non-working, a model CSM of Black yeah. Sun for us. I don't care who you fucking are. That's huge. Like, so if, anybody saying, uh, nothing saying, shut the fuck up. You don't like, know what you're talking about. If, like, we have made leaps and bounds from like five years ago. Heck, three years ago. A hundred percent. Yeah, like, and the thing is just like, yeah, no, like, I'm, I'm not going to say like, well, obviously, let them know what the hell you want, because that's what they also literally said. Let us know what seasons oh, you no, want. Oh, no, no. Like somebody on Twitter, they basically said we had to beg for it. No, he just said, tell us yeah, you want it. Yeah, just tell us. And At, do it politely. Like, yes. Don't be a douchebag about like it. Like that guy. Don't be the douchebag that, that says that you have to beg for it, because that's being completely ignorant of what was actually said. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, 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 it pissed me off, because even the guys that, like... And, that, and that's just like basic marketing. See who wants it. If yeah. enough people want it, great. Because I saw a, uh, a tweet from, I don't remember if it was, I don't think Tokushatsu has a specific Twitter. Oh, no, they do. Okay. Then it was from them. Um, some, some like, douche posted about uh, the Kuga Blu-ray. And he's yeah. like, oh, yeah, cool. Uh, and again, about how they were marketing, it's like, oh, yeah, by the way, the Grongi subs are optional now because... You know, we, when it was first came out, we all bitched about it. Mm -hmm. You know, despite yeah. what anybody might think, despite certain individuals who write about Tokusatsu news saying it is kind of a big fucking deal that mm -hmm. those are on by default, especially for a new watcher. Oh, the hundred percent. Oh, agreed. Because even if it's it's less so that it's uh, spoils elements, because it does spoil. Elements. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah. Nothing super significant, but it does spoil elements. But it's more so like. It ruins the fucking mystery of the build up to the mystery of the Grongi by having them just talking plainly. Yeah. It's less about oh it's spoilers and more it's it fucking ruins the mystery for the audience. Because like the whole idea of the Grongi is like we don't know what they fucking want. They're just yeah. killing people for shits and get, like that's scary. They yeah. were but killing you, people for shits and get, well, yeah, but like, know that. That. But, but we didn't know saying. that. But that's what I'm saying. Like we don't really understand that at first. It's like oh man, that's fucking scary, and it's like. You now? Oh, it's just okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I saw somebody on Twitter who was pissing and moaning about oh that God. being a thing they were marketing the show for. Is like, oh yeah, look at like I don't remember the exact tweet because I I fucking scrolled past it and ignored it. <laughs> yeah. But it was like, oh yeah, you know the fact that they're marketing for the this specifically for it means that they're only marketing for a very specific group of people who would actually give a shit about that news. Oh sure. Fuck. And off. then. Tokushoutsu responded to that tweet. It's like, yes, that is who we're marketing towards. Literally what they said is like, yes, that's what we want. The guy was <laughs> complaining. It's like, 
this advertising is only advertising to a very specific group of people who will care about this. It's like, oh yeah, no, no like, we're, shit, Sherlock. That's what the goal was. We're trying <laughs> to make it accessible for everyone, and that includes the ones that like are gonna nerd out about this shit. <laughs> the, the 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 hardcore dedicated yeah. fans. Yes, those are the ones. And besides yeah. that, like heck, like though I think people are also ignoring the fact that. This is the original master of the show we're getting. Oh, yeah, dude. And it, it looks gorgeous. It looks fucking gorgeous. See, because, like, you, you mentioned that guy complaining. What also pissed me off is, like, it was that tweet that I showed you on the bus. Yeah. Oh, we're marketing Futo Tante, based off, a sequel based off Common Rider Double, and what do we get in America? Google Google Blu-ray. It's like, fuck you. Like, That's a huge deal, and... So the fuck what? If Fudo Tante they said, does well... Even though they, they said at the panel, yeah, we're still working on it. That's, and it's even, coming yeah. soon. Eventually. And the thing is, if Fudo Tante does well, which it should, yeah. it'll, it'll more than likely speed up the process. Yeah, it, so fucking... Mm, yeah, besides so that, like, I can only imagine, because like amongst many popular series in Japan, Double is one of the most popular. Oh, both, yeah. Like, success, like, market, like, in terms of the market, in terms of story and everything, just like... Yeah, no, I would kind of imagine that it's probably a bit expensive to kind of get the show. Yeah, and, like, that's the thing, like, they kind of, like, mentioned, like, it's it's hard to get that. I, I can only imagine the headache it is to even begin those talks. Like, oh, Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. But that's what, but it pissed me off because it's like, guys, you have no idea how this works then. Because, and I'm glad most well, of, none of these people work for these guys. Yeah, like, to be, to be completely honest and transparent, we also don't either. No, of course not. But, like, if anything, we under, we kind of at least understand through this panel and, like, through everything that we have currently seen, mm. in this event alone, it's just like, yeah, no, this is kind of a, this kind of a pain in the ass. But also, let's be fair, Chad, uh, all, the co collectively, all three of us do have an IQ above fucking room temperature, that's unlike true. most of the people on Twitter. Yeah, that's also, yeah, 50-50 on that, but... Let's yeah, be honest here. Yeah. <laughs> let's be yeah, honest it's, here. It's like I always say, I'm mentally ill, I'm not stupid. Exactly. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. I think the, I think, just in general, as, as we said many, many a times, just in general, this panel, just just this panel alone shows me that like, and I think writers can gonna fucking thrive, and yeah. I'm happy about it. like I've always had my reservations. That's you yeah, know, obviously. And I, I, we opened up the episode. Uh, me saying that is that I've had my despite what I've heard from the team writer guys from not the usual suspects, but from you know people whose opinions I respect. That like, yeah. You know, I, I still have my reservations because, like, I hear that they're good guys, and I'm like, I'm gonna judge for myself. No, they're I, good people. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're wonderful good people. people. They're trying their hardest. You, can, they're genuine, genuine fans who have a deep emotional investment in this. Oh, and 100 percent. They are doing the best they can to work with this. Oh, yeah, and, that, and that's the thing. I mean, like, like, yeah. like, we we all know. As, a, as fans in general, we've always known that Toei has their head up their ass oh, yeah. about the dumbest shit always. Like, you, if you're any fan of anything like Japanese, <laughs> in Japanese media in general, you know that Toei are the dumbest motherfuckers. I mean, on the shit, dude. I mean, I, fuck's sake, we know. I mean, we've seen it ourselves. I used a picture of fucking Kuga once, and our video yeah. got striked. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> a fucking picture. So you can't sit there and piss and moan and say you can do a better job when like we all know what Toei is like when they're saying yeah this is what the reality is even yeah. through PR speak it's like yeah I believe you because I we've you know we've been through it personally yeah. we know what they're like we've been doing this long enough not even no. just us in general like like the, we, the whole collective world that's trying to it, make either videos it's, re it's really easy to say that I can lift a hundred pounds when you're you're not the one fucking lifting it exactly yeah. And these guys, you know, God bless them, man. They're fucking doing their hardest, and fuck, I, I, I am grateful for that.